at my portrait and think finishing up the values that I have left. Finishing up the, the values on, let's say for instance, the forehead. I am missing this whole patch here of gray. So I'm gonna find that soft corner of my pencil to my hair to kind of make sure that I'm not leaving a bunch of stripy <laughs> lines. And I'm going to go straight down my forehead now. Where's that soft corner? Where are you? There we are. So that's always a trick where if you start working where you know it's going to be darker, you can come up into the lighter areas then. So um, we've talked about this before, like the only part of your drawing that will be clean is going to be the background. Right? There will be no clean paper um, any place on your face. It's all going to be value. Ended up a little scratchy. I'm going to have to soften that. So now I'm looking. Uh, I have a shadow that runs all the edge of my forehead from my hair. So I'm going to have to kind of get that like on there. So I'm looking at my portrait. I have this shadow there's like this piece of my hair that's in front and it's in this shadow that kind of goes all the way down my face that I've been working to kind of keep on here so I'm working that shadow out um, my face is the darker side of my face so I can see that that side of my forehead is darker so just working before I have my finger reminding me where I'm working on my photo Right? That way I'm focusing on that part of the photograph itself. Um, making me think about, like looking at what shape this is, this shadow kind of curves out a little bit. So I've kind of made it curve out a little bit here. So finish my forehead. Now uh, the neck. Typically your neck is going to be darker than your chin. So those underneath, so I have long hair which means that these two kind of triangular shadows are quite dark because it's back and inside my hair. That'll also be true if you have a collar or a hoodie on your shirt. And then here, I'm going to just look. This, this is the lightest part of my neck here and it gets just a little bit lighter than my chin. But there's a darker area here. I'm wearing a necklace that is light so I drew the contour line drawing for that and I'm just gonna skip that spot right and shade that necklace after the fact so again I'm looking for shadow shapes now if you didn't draw a lot of detail down here on your neck or in your clothes this on your photo so that you can go back and uh, add those details again with the grid. I have another weird shadow here from hair, I assume. Gets darker here where we start to go into collarbone. Um, if you can see, if you are shading here and it's your shirt, you're looking for the darker and the lighter areas of the shirt that you're wearing. So I get down this far and I'm just going obviously for my necklace over. And then here on the photo, I have this lighter section that's hair, but my t-shirt is uh, dark. And so I can see sections of my t-shirt in between my hair back here. This would be another time that I would maybe want to put my grid back up here just to make sure that I'm being as accurate as I can. But you can see, um, even though this is going to be really dark, I'm going to start not quite as dark as I can kind of avoid some of that shine factor that will end up there if I go too fast. Um, it's going to look a little strange to start with because, um, right, my hair is not done. So at first, this is going to look a little odd because I'm sorry. And I'm just drawing my shirt. So if you're wearing a hat in your photo, today would be the day to look at those values of the hat, to look at the values and shade your clothes, 
to finish your neck, to finish your forehead, um, you know, to finish up some of those extra shadows that are not hair. About hair specifically tomorrow, hair's kind of its own deal, and it is one of the more time consuming parts of the portrait, all right? So, um, by the end of today, you should have your whole face finished, your clothes. So even though I'm wearing a black t-shirt, I'm looking and I have this extra edge of darker. There's this little rim here where it's a little bit lighter. And then in the photo here, I can see it gets darker again here because it's like the where the stitching is on my shirt. So making sure to look for the darkers and the lighters in your clothes, even if they're black, they're not all black. They're still darker and lighter sections of those clothes, the shirt that you're wearing. Oops, I hit a piece of paper underneath my paper here. Okay. Um, so this is your job today, to continue the neck, Continue, and like I said, if you didn't draw some of this, the, today is the day to go back to your grid and to add a um, little bit of contour line on here for the shadows that are here in your neck. So you can see as I start to finish that, my face starts to feel forward. In, um, my hair starts to feel in front of that shirt that's back there. If you have specific questions about your particular portrait, your clothing that you're wearing, um, ask. I'm here to help. Um, I will also walk around today and give what you still need to work on um, so that you're continuing to work to refine the shadows so that your portrait can be as good as it possibly can be. Okay.